Hi guys, hi Spain, hi Facebook, good evening. Um, tonight I wanted to discuss, it's very late actually, it's, um, <clears throat> it's 9 o'clock, it's past 9 o'clock and uh, I, I was supposed to do this live at 8.30 but for some reason I got busy, I was talking to a friend so now it's 9 o'clock and so I will want to make it short, I don't want to uh, you know, talk about it at length, but just an update on domestic violence. So if you are on a spouse visa or if you are a married, if you're married to um, a, a British citizen or settled person and you experience domestic violence, then uh, you definitely can apply for indefinite leave to remain. So permanent visa. So your visa converts from spouse visa to uh, indefinite leave to remain. OK, so that means it's permanent visa, irrespective of whether you've been here uh, three months, four months, five months. Um, if you are a victim of domestic violence, go and apply uh, to the Home Office as a victim of domestic violence. And if you are destitute, then you don't have to pay the Home Office fees. And so you don't have to pay 2389 which is the Home Office fees at the moment for indefinitely to remain. <clears throat> They will, um, if you can prove that you, you don't have any money, um, you're living on your own, you don't have family, you don't have anyone in this country, then they will, um, they will not charge you for the, uh, for the fees to apply. Okay, so that's one. Um, because I, if, if you've uh, seen my status this week, I've received a client uh, indefinitely to remain as a victim of domestic violence. Uh, he was a, he was from. Um, South South Asia and he came here on a spouse visa actually just uh, when did he come he came I think he's been here just a little bit over a year okay or, uh, yeah not maybe not not quite a year when he experienced the this domestic um, abuse and it's not even domestic abuse as in you know his wife physically um, beat him or and so on. So this is a, a, a mental abuse, a psychological abuse, because what happened, um, if I just share with you what his story was, he he came and he, he you know, they've known each other for, for a while, but when, when he joined his wife in the UK, he just discovered that his wife had some kind of mental, um, mental illness, I think, uh, that's what I would call. And um apparently she started she started uh controlling him and um if if they would argue then and and he threatens to to he threatened to to leave her uh she would you know go com completely ballistic and um harm herself okay basically there's a blackmail the emotional blackmail on the wife's part and so um she had, uh, he had to call the police on this because I think his wife locked herself in the room and, I don't know, hurt herself, maybe cut herself or something. And he couldn't, he couldn't get in, so he had to get the police involved. And the police identified that he was um, a victim of uh, domestic violence. They, they, they are trained for this type of, um, you know, situations, incidents. Um, and so they then they then uh, sent him a letter confirming, you know, that he's he's a, he's a victim of uh, domestic violence. They referred him to this organization. Um, it's a multiple multiple agency. You know, even for me, it's it's the, these new terms that they've introduced. Um, it's a new agency that they that they've created um, specifically for this type of situation. And so then he then rece received support from this organization. He didn't even have to do a counseling, okay? So obviously they offered him this counseling, um, but, but he didn't have to do it because obviously he, he needs to work, he needs to support himself. He didn't have any family in this country. And um, so he then had to move out from, from the family home and, and rented, and rented um, a, a, sh a shared room. And so he had police report, he had a letter from this organization that says, you know, he is a victim of domestic violence and he's, uh, they're offering him support, although he hasn't really taken that support. Um, hello, everyone. Hello. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Hello. Um, Mira, Myra. Good evening, Marie. Um, Carol. Hello. 
Um, so, so the documents he had was just police report, um, you know, a letter from this organization that says he, 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 they're supporting him, but he's not taking that uh, service itself. He continued to have his own life. Uh, obviously, he also went to the GP and um, spoke to them about his, you know, his his difficulties in in sleeping and for for so for a short period he had that support and so those are the documents at a police report that we submitted and you know he he got the he got the visa so his spouse visa was converted automatically after being in this country for one year um, into an indefinite leave to remain visa okay. Now, for those of you, um, I'm sure um, whoever's watching this in the future or whoever's watching it now, if you are a spouse, if you are, uh, if you are in a um, difficult relationship where um, you feel you're being abused and, and you don't have that strength or the courage or um, bravery, you're not brave enough to phone the police if you, know, if you have uh, domestic incidents then um, by all means please don't keep it to yourself always always share and um, you know speak to your GP and see where where um, where the GP will um, will refer you okay and and always mention the fact that this is this this your condition is for example you're depressed you're having low mood um, your condition has uh, has something to do with the, the fact of your marital difficulty or relationship difficulty okay so um, I'm saying this um, on the basis of immigration rules uh, I know for a fact that if you are also an EA a family member of an EA citizen and you experience domestic violence you can also apply under that category and you don't have to pay the 2000 um, you know 389 pounds home office fees you only have to pay 65 pounds if that's the case so you can also apply so just because you 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 are on uh, a dependent visa and and you think that there is absolutely no hope you have to put up with actually living with your abusive partner please um please reconsider okay and and please don't put yourself in that situation where uh you have to you think you have to stay in order to stay in this country um the law is there to to, to protect you okay so um Okay, I, I have people watching, but it, is there any questions? Um, you know, it, this is a very, very quick live because, because it's late. Um, maybe you are, um, you're still fresh, but um, <laughs> I've been up since, uh, how, how, since 4.30, I think, yes. Um, so I'm not quite fresh. Uh, I'm ready for bed. But, um, you have any questions just let me know I know some of you have messaged me and sometimes I, I sometimes I forget that uh, you, you message me but if you prompt me again and say oh you know you haven't responded to me please can you answer my question I, I will automatically you know get back to you definitely that's what that's what I've been um, that's what I've been doing you know I've been catching up with with messages um, yeah, what else can I what, what else can I tell you? Um there isn't any there isn't anything else. Yeah, Myra, yes. Myra, yes. Um I don't know if you have a question. I know you you wanted to see me live. Um one second. Okay. So yeah, so I, I also mentioned in my um status that I had two uh, male applications they are victims of domestic violence so it's not female so it's a male uh, male victim of domestic violence but one of them um, got refused so uh, it was very unfortunate but the difference was that one of them stayed in the um, in the flat that they shared so it's the woman it's the wife that actually moved, who actually moved out from the property and he was explaining that um, you know it was because uh, he didn't have anywhere else to go, and and it was the wife who voluntarily um, left, which is um, I don't know if you know maybe maybe he did experience um, domestic domestic violence, but the other thing was there was a police record, and it didn't actually say that there was a domestic domestic incident. It he had a so one incident that 
um, that the police confirmed that there was a, you know, that the wife locked him out, okay, because they were arguing, locked him out, and, and he had to phone the police because it was a freezing cold. And the other incident was that um, he claimed that he was, he claimed that he was set up by his wife, and he went to a, an address where people were already waiting for him to, um, you know, waiting to attack him. And then he, he defended himself, or something like that. So there was a police incident. But, although I didn't see that incident, um, and the police didn't take any action after the arrest, because they arrested him. So this is my client um, claiming, to, um, claiming as a victim of domestic violence. And there, there are, when you see him, and I think, I think I am quite a good judge of character, because I've seen so many, you know, so many clients. You can automatically... Not automatically, not always right, but usually you can sense whether or not they're telling the truth. And and when you see him, he did have this kind of aura that he, you know, he's harm, harmless. So when he was telling me all this, explaining me all this, of course, I believed him. But so when we submitted the application, what I didn't know was that the police had also provided information to the Home Office that I didn't know what it, what it said. And um, that was part of the refusal. So um, unfortunately, it was refused um, for him. But the other, the one that I've just mentioned, he's been here just, I think, under a year or uh, just, you know, a year. He, he got his visa. Okay. So, um, yes, guys, um, that's it for tonight. And what I will do, um, I've been trying to get some some materials as well for um, for live, uh, such as maybe showing you an application, how to do an application for a no time limit. And I think I will do that one of these uh, one of these days, uh, maybe this week. I'll do um, yeah, because it's half term next week. So I will do one of those to show you exactly how to how to complete the form and what information you need to complete. Okay. But for now, thank you so much for uh, joining me and have a lovely evening and a lovely, lovely weekend. Bye-bye.